Hello everybody! Today I'm going to speak about an interesting subject. How to earn money online without a credit card. For this purpose I have prepared a list of 10 websites to show you in the video beside a lot of useful hints. Millions of people like you and me are using those websites even to make a full-time job and be their own boss. Skillshare. If you have any kinds of skills, this means you're able to make money by sharing it. Some people are making over $100,000 a year as a passive income by sharing skills. Do I need to master the skills I want to share? For example, if you're not experienced in skills like video editing, Adobe Illustrator, cooking, photography, house maintenance or web development, you can educate yourself about it through YouTube or other sources and then create your own version and share it. Let us have a small tour on Skillshare. But before we start, please give this video a like and subscribe because seriously, every time you do it, it really helps this channel so thank you so much for doing it. Users land on the site and search for the topics they are interested with. For example, I want to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator software. Just type Illustrator in the search box, select the course you want from the search result. An important piece of information you need to know is that this class was made by a random guy. Since anyone is allowed to share a skill and start making money. On average, a new teacher makes between $200 to $3,000 per month. Those numbers are just one course during the first month. You can do the math if you start adding more classes. Once your classes are ready and active on Skillshare, you don't have to do anything. All the money you make is passive. How I get paid? What you need to know is that you are going to get paid for every minute watched. While the number of students you sow is only the number of who watched a big part of the course, since most users go directly and watch the part they are interested in. A lot of courses are recorded by phone, camera and mic. Or even just screen capturing and voiceover. Now, if you want to get more passive income from your classes, you can put them on the next website. Udemy, another website to sell your courses in programming, graphic design, Photoshop or web design. Unlike Skillshare, Udemy users buy courses individually instead of a subscription. Earning on Udemy is higher. Around 40% of courses made $5,000. You may ask, what if I don't have any interesting skill to teach? In this case, you can use the strategy. First of all, go to YouTube and search for a skill you think it is interesting. Like how to use Illustrator program for Adobe. Select a popular tutorial and recreate your own version as a teaching course. Then go and list it on Skillshare and Udemy. You don't need to be Illustrator professional to do that. You just need a screen recorder software and mic to create or recreate your course. For Illustrator programs you have a free trial for 7 days which you can use to create the course without buying it. Second. You can download OBS Studio as a free screen capturing software and OpenShot as another free video editor software. You can find the links in the description. Redbubble. Having the biggest traffic and high convention rates, Redbubble is an interesting print-on-demand marketplace. It is a website that allows you to make money by creating custom items online like shirts, phone covers, mugs and so on. But how it works? Well, it's simple. First of all, you need to create an account, which is free. Then start uploading your designs. And then select what products you want to activate for each design and customize them by choosing color and style. Redbubble is going to print design on the t-shirt Pack it and ship it to the customer address automatically. You need to do nothing. This industry is named print on demand. And as you saw, when you upload your design, it is a passive income source since Redbubble will pay you a commission on every sale. But you may have two questions. The first one. Will people buy it without spending money on advertising to drive traffic? The answer is yes. People are already coming to the Redbubble market to search and buy custom-made products. The second question, what if I don't have any graphic design skills? That is not a problem. In order to make money on Redbubble, you don't need to be an artistic. 
For example, if you check shirts or mugs, you can easily discover that a lot of successful products are just funny text that anyone can design using free tools like Canva. Now, how you get paid? You have two payment methods, even through PayPal accounts or directly by bank transfer. Here is a small advice. First, in order to get ideas about best-selling t-shirts, you can go and browse Etsy, as I'm going to show you. And second, try to fill a gap in market by selecting a niche that has a limited number of designs in order to enhance your chances to get more sales. YouTube. There is hardly a person in the world who doesn't know YouTube. Anyone allowed to upload their videos and start making money by partnering with YouTube. However, YouTube changed the rules of monetizing videos and sharing profit with content creators. The new rules required at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel to be liable to enable monetization. Those requirements are not a big problem if you are providing good content and releasing new videos constantly. The amount of money you can earn for a video differs a lot depending on the channel situation, content type and targeting segments. You can grow your earnings with affiliate links on YouTube and Skillshare. At this moment, it's not banned to post affiliate links on the description that are related to the video. Make sure to notify the user that this link is an affiliate link. However, this is not legal advice. You need to contact a lawyer for legal advice for people who prefer not to be on the camera. They can make tutorial videos using screen recording software. If you have a good video skills, you may want to have a look on the next website. Shutterstock. On this website, you can sell photos and videos that you took as a stock footage. You may ask if people are willing to pay for those videos. A lot of content creators are willing to spend a lot of money on stock videos. Many people are making a few thousand of dollars each month. A lot of the videos taken are basic and taken by a smartphone camera. The secret to success and make money on this website is not selling images but selling 4K videos which have the highest commissions. If you think that taking videos and selling them sounds like something you would consider to earn more money, you will need to focus on 4K videos. Whenever the name of online shopping comes up, the first thing that comes to mind is Amazon, where millions of people from all over the world make daily purchases. What you may not know is that Amazon has its own print-on-demand service called Merch on Amazon. In order to sell your own designs, you need to submit an application, and in case you get accepted, you will have access to print-on-demand services. The workflow is similar to Redbubble, in which you need to upload your designs and Amazon will create the product for you. You can create your product listing by setting your price, title and description, then customers can find them. Some people are doing a full-time income from merch on Amazon. According to some studies, some successful t-shirts are making up to $3,000 per month a net profit, which is totally a passive income. Amazon is a huge marketplace where they pay you a commission and take care of bringing customers and all logistics. Amazon pays by bank transfer and accepts Payoneer.com as US bank accounts. People per hour. A UK-based company in which freelancers can offer their services for other people to buy them. It is free to create a list of your services on PPH. If you are a freelancer, it's a great place to make money since millions of business owners and startups are spending a lot of money buying services they need. In general, people don't get excited for this kind of website to make money because it's very competitive and needs to build a lot of good reviews in order to drag sales. But there's another angle you can try to make money as a freelancer, instead of offering the same general kind of service like others. You can search and select a specific area like design, only mugs or sneakers for print on demand. The key is to reach for a specific area that has limited freelancers and cover it. By this, you can increase your chances in getting sales faster without a big competition. Scribe. 
Scribe is a platform where you can make money by typing transcribe audio files into text. The pay amount is anywhere between $5 and $25 per audio hour, which means for around 5 minutes file you can get paid between $0.5 and $2. All you need is a computer, a headset and a good internet connection. And you can start making money listening to an audio file and typing what you hear on site word processor. Once the client approves the job, you get paid per audio hour. There is no minimum withdrawal limit to receive your money on PayPal account. Which makes a good solution for making some extra money in case you are a fast writer in writing with good language skills. Instagram. Instagram's business model by focusing mainly on posting images make it a perfect gate for fashion and lifestyle branding. I'm going to talk about two main ways of making money on Instagram. The first one is becoming an influencer and making money from sponsored posts. The main issue is to establish a reputation and loyal followers to be able to convince their audience. In this case, you can use websites like shortcut.com to reach the potential clients interested in putting ads on Instagram. The second way is by promoting and posting about your own products, which can vary from an ebook to custom print and demand product or specialty. You can even sell them on your website, which you can open easily on Shopify. As an example, if you are selling custom print and demand products, you can integrate your store with a provider by plugin like printify.com. Or you can use another marketplace to open your shop for free like Redbubble. So, did my video help you? If it did, please hit subscribe and click that little notification that you don't miss out any of my videos. And if you like to learn more about printing on demand business, you should be sure to watch my playlist. So go ahead, watch my next video, and I'll see you over there.